So now we're going to go into the system configuration. We're going to see what we can change with that configuration. So I'm going to select setup. And if you remember, our password is always 2009. And I only have to select this once. So under our system configuration, these are all the options that we can save under this configuration. So some of the popular items we're going to change under this system setup is power management. We're going to go to setup here and we can adjust when we want it to turn the backlight off on the display and then also the system. So we can hit the drop down here and select anywhere from never to after three hours and for the backlight we can go to never to after three hours. A little a few more options in between. Also we're going to be able to change our sound settings so we can adjust to, to see for uh, track logging if we're going to um, have an external speaker for that. Here's a touch screen. If you don't want it to beep at all when you touch the screen, you can turn that off. And then we're going to have settings for feature mapping, but I will go into that later because that's a little more uh, detailed. And language and units would be one that we do uh, often use. So in here, most people like the QWERTY keyboard layout instead of the A, B, C, D, E, F. So I would recommend keeping that on QWERTY. And uh, most of us speak English. So here we have status items. So I'm going to hit setup. And right now I just have random ones selected but let's put in something that we're going to actually want. Usually what I recommend is speed on the top left and offline distance on the right. So we just scroll down here until we see our speed. So right there is speed. I'll hit set item and our offline distance is right there. So we'll select that set item and off to the left here we have our slide out tab and a lot of times there I like to verify that we have the right field so we'll scroll down here to where we have our under system we have our our farm name but I'm just going to go to field name and I select set item there and I like to know what the field area is so I'll hit field area set item and next we'll have coverage percent so it will show us our coverage percentage of being done in the field and I also like to see heading so if we ever want to do an A plus line and we wonder what heading we are facing currently towards the bottom I like to put heading and then GPS status is always nice there as well and then our info tab, we can put in anything we want to from this right hand side.